Hey guys, welcome to another awesome plant video. I'm Angela from The Girl with the Shovel and today we are talking about bottom watering your house plants. A lot of people ask if it's better to top water or bottom water and the answer is it kind of depends and it's kind of personal preference, okay? But the thing is if you don't top water correctly, then bottom watering will fix your mistakes. So that's where you get a lot of people who say, oh, my plants do so much better now that I just bottom water, is because when they were top watering, they weren't watering fully, okay? So that is the one benefit to bottom watering. If you do it right, then it could actually fix a lot of easy to make mistakes during your top watering process. The three main times that you should be bottom watering your plant First is if your plant is so dry that it's pulling away from the sides of the pot. Like I have this plant here and it's just starting to pull away from the sides of the pot here. So that can be good to rehydrate the soil fully because if you're just top watering at this point, then it's not gonna be very effective or efficient, very effective. Um, so that's the first time when you really should be bottom watering. The second time is if you're dealing with fungus gnats. Now, fungus gnats like to live and lay their eggs in the top several inches of the soil. So they will, and they need moist soil to live. They need water um, in that soil. So if you bottom water it, then it cuts down on your likeliness of having really wet soil on the top and moves that soil, that, that moisture down to the bottom where your plant can still get it, but where the fungus gnats, larva and eggs don't, don't get it. So they could dry out more. So <laughs> that is another reason why you should be bottom watering your plants is if you're starting to see fungus gnats or you're trying to control them, I wouldn't say this is the only thing to do with fungus gnats. I would definitely also recommend um, some sprays and so, some other treatments. But if you are dealing with them, definitely start bottom watering all of your plants if you can. And then the third time when you should be bottom watering your plant is if there's too much leaf growth and just like your, your plant is too bushy. So you can't really tell when your soil is dry or not and you can't really fully water it because there are so many leaves around. Now I've got a couple like this, like I've got my string of bananas here. It's pretty long. And see it's so full, I've started trying to reach in here to see if the soil is wet or not. But honestly, it's been getting really difficult with how full it is that I haven't been watering it well on the top because of that, because it's just so full. So I'm gonna bottom water this guy. He needs a really good soak. Um, I've neglected him a little bit, so I'm sorry. But he's definitely due for a really good bottom watering soak. And then I've got a couple others that I'll kind of show a little bit about that too. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with a string of bananas here. Now, um, it's a pot inside of a pot. One has drainage holes, the other one doesn't. So it keeps my counter nice and dry. But I'm just gonna take this out, okay? And now you see, <laughs> I'm seeing some roots down here, which also shows that I've been watering it when it's dry. It's been running out, sitting in the pot, and then it's been soaking up through that, uh, it's been soaking up that extra water that's been in inside this pot. It works, but like I said, it's very difficult to tell when this guy is dry or not. I'm starting to use a soil moisture meter a bit more. That's a lot easier than, you know, putting my hand in here because it's just so, so full. But he's due for a good soak. Honestly, all your plants can get a good soak every now and again. They would love it. Um, I had some plants out in the rain the other day and they got drenched <laughs> in a good way. Not like, not, not like pounded rain, but like just the, the light rain over so many hours, they got fully soaked 
Make sure it has drainage at that point though. You don't want it overflowing. Anyways, then I brought them in. They loved it. They loved it. So um, it's it's this guy's turn. He needs it. So I've got an, a little Tupperware here. Um, any sort of like pail or bowl or something will work. Um, I have my watering can, but honestly, I'm going to be putting quite a bit of water in here. So I've got a pitcher here too. So I'm just going to start putting this guy in. Now I don't want to get this too full because the pot will actually take up quite a bit of space itself. So I'm going to put this guy in here. There we go. And I'm okay. I'm going to wrap this around. This is very long. I need to give him a trim. But for now, he's going to have a little twist to him. Right here, perfect. Okay, so you can see that water right there. He's in, he's gonna start soaking that up. And we can check right now, it's really dry. You won't be able to see it much because it is so full of the leaves but we'll be able to see that water level going down. Okay, now for my next one is the baby jade that I have here. That was so dry, it's been kind of pulling away from the sides of the pot. I haven't had him for too long, but I didn't want to overwater him from the beginning, but now he's really dry. So <laughs> he won't take as much water as um, some of the bigger pots, but because he's so dry, he is gonna take up quite a bit of water. And I'll just show you, when you try to top water this, he's got so much like soil on the sides that you can tell it's just coming straight down there. It's not even going into the pot. It's just, it's just dripping straight down. And so you can see when it's overly dry, it doesn't hold on to that water because there are those cracks in that soil that the water just drips all the way through. And then you have a really hard time actually rehydrating your soil unless you bottom water it, okay? So I'm gonna kinda squish the soil down a little bit as much as I can. Now I have this little tray here. I'm gonna put a little bit more water in here and then I'm gonna give him, uh, I'm gonna put him inside He's got these nice holes on the bottom. Oh, dripping. <laughs> He's got these holes on the bottom that will soak it up and he will be a lot happier. Let me sh tell you that. Now the last one I'm gonna talk about that I'm gonna um, show bottom watering is a Kalanchoe that was actually low on soil. So I just kind of top dressed, gave him some more soil there. And now the top of the soil is dry, but the bottom of the soil isn't super dry. Now I wouldn't bottom water this right away, but I would actually use that top watering and then leaving some in the tray and letting it soak up. And that way it kind of gets like a full, a full cycle where it goes down, comes back up, goes down, comes back up. And then I'll make sure that the tray is empty at the end of that. So here I'm just going to add some water here. And then I'm gonna let it kind of Soak down and out the bottom. See, it's already dripping down here. Good. Okay, and then I'm gonna leave that in that water. I'm gonna add a little bit more. So I'm gonna let this one sit for a while and then we will come back to it here in a few minutes. Okay, so something else that you can see with this is with bottom watering, you can see those water levels really good. So here I'm trying to be careful with this guy. So you can see the bottom, the bottom is wet, 
but the top is still dry. It's still pretty dry up here. So you can see it's getting a bit, and then here's where all the water ran was on the side over here, <laughs> where it was pulling down when, when I top watered. But you see right, right here, like right next to it is still dry. So you can see how ineffective that is because it's just on the very, very outside. And you can tell over here where really all of this is still dry and then only this part is wet. So I'm gonna let it sit for longer and the soil is actually going to wick that water up into the rest of the pot so that eventually the entire root ball is going to be that dark color and nice and moist. And so now you just need to wait. You need to give them about 15 to 20 minutes um, at least and let them soak up all that water and then come and check again. Lightly press on the top of the soil and see if the top of your soil is moist yet. Now, when we, when we top watered like this guy, of course the top of the soil is gonna be moist. So then you just empty what is left. But for these other guys like this one, um, I'm gonna do the same over here. You can feel the top of the soil. See if the top of the soil is wet. And if it is, that means it's fully saturated and it's it's pretty much gotten as much water as it's going to. But that's not gonna be for a little bit, so I'm gonna let it sit and I will be back. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes now and if you feel on the top of the soil, it is nice and moist. So now what we're gonna wanna do is we are going to want to empty out all of the rest of that water that is in the tray because we don't wanna keep that in the tray or then we risk overwatering our plants, okay? The reason why this works is because we remove the extra water at the end. So I'm just kinda, I've been letting it kinda drip. It's dripping, dripping. I'm gonna pour this back into my watering can here to use for my next plant. So if I don't drip, yes. Yes, did not drip, okay. <laughs> I usually spill water everywhere. But anyways, okay, so now you can see it's not actively dripping anymore. We removed, oh, there were tiny, tiny drips. And we removed, re, we removed all of the extra water out of the tray. Okay, so now this baby jade is ready to go. It is all rehydrated. The soil is rehydrated. I'm gonna kind of push the soil around a little bit because it was kind of pulling away from the sides of the pot. I'm just gonna push it down back so it's not so um, compacted. Okay, and now let's move on. Now uh, this one, the Kalanchoe, is looking good. That, oh, that is nice and moist. In, in a good way. It's not like soaking. I'm not seeing any water. If you're seeing like a sponge, if you're seeing like water coming out, then it means you need to let it drain. It means that there's too much water in this pot. So like the water level um, down here in the tray was pretty low. It, it used up most of it. But if the water level is too high in the pot, then you'll start getting that like sponginess where you press on the soil and you see water. And then you know, okay, it's fully saturated, but it's too wet now. So you have to let it dry. Um, well, drain. You have to let it drain because that's the key, um, especially in the winter time. If you're bottom watering in the winter time or if you're bottom watering plants that are in low light, then you need to make sure that you let it drain afterwards and you empty out your trays. Okay, so this one's empty, so this one is good. And now for our lovely guy over here. Okay, so you see that water level is quite a bit lower now just loving it. Let me see if I can feel down here. 
Yeah. Yeah. He's doing good. I don't think he's f quite fully there yet. He was really dry. It's still dry on the top, so I'm going to leave it longer. But when it's done, I'm just gonna follow the same exact things. I'm gonna take it out, I'm gonna let it dry. So drip dry here, or you can move it to another tray if it's taking a really long time and it's like heavy. You get these heavy plants where you're like, oh, I can't keep letting this drip dry because my arms are tired. Then you can move it to like another tray, set it in a different tray while it's drip drying. But then when that's done, now I'm just gonna just put it right back in the original pot. So that's all you need to know for bottom watering. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Just like I said, make sure that you let it drain afterwards and you empty that water that's in the tray or your um, tub. <laughs> empty the water in your bathtub if you're using that. Uh, it does get pretty dirty, so you gotta rinse it. Um, anyways, all hygiene aside, <laughs> that's how you bottom water your plants. And leave any questions or comments you have below. I love answering them. I love hearing from you guys. And once again, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. So have a good one and I will see you in the next video.